speak just a little bit longer than those who came before me. It's just because um, I feel like the, the subject of Darfur is still so urgent that if I could have all your ears for just a few moments, it would mean a great deal to me. Um, I first began working on the subject of Darfur in September 2004. I went to Washington uh, with Amnesty International and spoke before an assembled crowd of lawmakers, Congress people, senators. And I was eight and a half months pregnant with my first child. And at that point, 100,000 people, roughly civilians, 95% civilians in Darfur had been killed in a planned genocide by their own government. And I was outraged and I was a little bit wet behind the ears and I felt like, well, I'm gonna speak out here. I'm going to uh, bring the audience to a, a sort of a sympathy for these people by reading the actual words of people who'd suffered these things, a mother who'd seen her children killed in front of her a woman who'd been slashed in the stomach while pregnant, as I was, and I was very deeply moved. Um, I've always been kind of obsessed with racial conflict and prejudice and genocide, and here we were in the first bona fide genocide of the 21st century. Well, unfortunately, it is now 2008, several trips to Washington later, a testimony, a formal testimony before Congress, uh, speaking at the UN, organizing concerts, rallying at Central Park, all of these things I have done, and for a while I felt extremely frustrated because I felt like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best, I'm doing what little part that I can, and everyone seems to care, but nothing seems to be really changing, and now the death toll is at 400,000, and the violence has spilled out into chat. Um, but just very, and I've now had two children, and the eldest is three, and my son is one and a half, and while I've had all this great bounty of love and family, all these other families are suffering the unspeakable. But very recently, there has been a, a slight change in the tides, and it, it looks like there is possibly a light at the end of the tunnel in Darfur. Um, Finally, the UN peacekeeping troops, which is a, a historic resolution, it was a unanimous Security Council vote, they have finally started hitting the ground. So now there are 9,000 roughly UN troops helping the people who before were defenseless. Um, one of the first things that affected me so much when I spoke at that very first event was the story of how women, when foraging for firewood and fresh water for their families, would be gang raped for days at a time, dragged off, and then returned humiliated and damaged to their camps as, as a tool of war to humiliate and decimate a people through rape. So anyway, I know I'm, I, I sound preachy, but all of you who are involved in finance, in the arts, in advertising, you all have your own specific talents, and I know we are all so irked inside when defenseless people are slaughtered for no good reason by their own government. So all of you in finance, we can continue the great movement of divestiture, which is occurring now, where any groups that are investing heavily in Sudan are being boycotted. Um, we can create great noise in whatever creative fashion we can think of, saying we will not tolerate this and demand more of our government. Our government has now finally established a special envoy to Darfur, who is really creating a task force to make sure the UN peacekeeping troops don't stumble on logistical problems. Every week they have a, a group meeting and they say, okay, what's the problem this week? Oh, there's not enough housing? Well, how do we fix that? And it's all results oriented. So my path to peace has been involved in actually a fight, a fight for peace. But it is a fight I believe in with all of my being, with all the love I have for my children, with all the love those mothers have for their children. And I thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk to you about Darfur. Giving me this word gave me the chance to tell you about it and hopefully move you to, to join in the fight as well. Thank you. Thank you.